and welcome to another video. We do hope we find you well. Uh, today's video is a couple of sessions all rolled into one and they are with me and my friend Mark. We go to Hollyhead uh, in search of herring and squid and then we end up on the Mersey in search of cod. We do hope you like the video. A big thanks to Mark for being my uh, number two on this video. My dad couldn't make it on these occasions. So without further ado, here it is. Hi everyone. So you meet me and my friend Mark on the dock back at Hollyhead. I'll just give you a 360. Mark's just checking the uh, resident uh, shrimp pots there. Well, he might have himself a live bit by the looks of things. <laughs> anyway, there's a very specific reason. There's a very specific reason that we're here today. Um, there's a guy recently caught a squid off here, and I've always wanted to have a jig for squid, so that's why I'm here. I don't necessarily think we will get some, but you got to be in it to win it. Um, so obviously the rods are out well. Only got frozen bait today. Um, didn't really have a chance to get any worm. It was a flying visit, really, just an overnighter. And uh, see so if we can find you anything. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. Right, everyone. So no squid so far. Um, there's a few lads been down as well, and they've not had any. A uh, couple of stories from last night that it was a lot calmer. It's very windy today. Uh, it's a lot calmer last night, and they even saw shoals of them. So maybe missed the the correct night to be down, but as it was with social media, there was quite a few people came down. Hunting for the uh, squid, so you never know. We're still time yet. There's still high tide to go yet, but I'll get a baited rod out now and see if we can find you anything. Um, I'll show you the pots. We've got some uh, lobster prawn and uh, crab pots out, so I'll, I'll show you them as I pull them up, and hopefully some interesting things to show you in there as well. So I'll come back to you when I've got something to show you. I'll catch you in a bit. Night, everyone. First actual fish of the night. And we've got ourselves a little scorpion. Let's show him off to you there. I'll, I'll unlock him. I'll uh, I'll show him you then. But there he is. I'll double check which type, and I'll put it in down below. But nice little specimen. <laughs> Let's get him back. The second species on the sabikis. And it's a little lighting. Getting back anyway. Right, everyone. Next fish for the sabiki rig is a pouting. I'll double check, but yep, it's definitely a pouting. Like I say, I will 100% check in the edit, but uh, I think it's a pouting. It's a bit broad to be a uh, poor cod. Nice, though, aren't they? Anyway, let's get him back. Right, everyone, so ooh, I'll just show you. We've got some bits and bats in this pot. We've got some prawns knocking them out there and some velvet and a velvet uh, swimming crab. Right, let's get them out and have a little look at them. Right, everyone, so that's number one, velvet swimming crab. You can see his eyes are red. <laughs> Angry little beast, these things. You're a little bit bigger than this, and you could take it. Um, Make quite a nice meal, actually. Yep, nice little velvet there. I'll show you what else we've got as well. Oh, there we go. So, decentish sized prawn. So, hopefully, I can bag up on a few of these as well because they make nice eating too. So, fingers crossed. Um, they make a good live bait as well. <laughs> right, let's go and have a look at these other pots, see if there's anything interested in those. Right, everyone, there's quite a few things in this one. Here's a brown crab there, I'll have a look at him in a minute, and some uh, nice sized prawns, and a lot of velvet crabs as well. Let's have a look at this brown crab. It's a bit under and it's only got one claw, so it's probably be going back. There he is everyone, so he's only got one claw. He's not big enough really. Let's get him back. We've got some more nice sized uh, prawn there. <laughs> So let's hope we can bag up on a few of these tonight. 
and like I say, just the uh, velvet swimming crab, which uh, we've already had a look at. Let's see if we can find anything else interesting in these pots for you. So I'm not having a cake and brew in the normal sense, but I can't let you down. And I've got a flask of coffee and some ice buns. The best I can do without my camper van or my dad here. All right, everyone. So in that pot, we just had a couple of prawns and this little guy. Oof, oh <laughs> <laughs> Slippery as butter, this thing. Right, let's see if we can get over to him. But we have a tiny little rocklin. <laughs> Can't keep hold of him because he's, uh, he's slippery as hell. But there we go. Right, everyone. <laughs> this wind really is getting ferocious now. So it's just making it difficult to fish. And we're not. Uh, we're not pulling whales in, so we'll uh, we'll give it in for now and uh, possibly go fishing in the morning on the way back and uh, see if we can do some spinning. Meant to clear up in the morning. There's some rain coming through now as well. There's no no sense in getting wet through, so we'll pack it in for the night and uh, uh, on the way back in the morning, just staying at my my, my pal's place. So uh, get some sleep and then see what we can find in the morning for you. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. Right everyone, so it's the morning after and I'm just going to pull these pots now. We've got three in, I left three in last night. so. Let's go and see if there's anything in them. So pot number one contained a lot of prawns. You, know, you can just about see down there. A hermit crab as well. Hermit crab there. Come out of its shell. And a edible crab. But he's not big enough. Or oh, I think it's a he anyway. Let's have a look. Yep. It's he, not big enough, so we'll, we'll get that one back. So in this pot running off is a very big velvet swimming crab, edible crab, but again, too small. Let's say yeah, all again. Yep, definitely a male. So getting back. Right, everyone. So I'm not going to be breaking any. Uh, any records with them pots but uh, hopefully it goes to show that you can get all kinds of stuff off this dock here um got some nice uh, prawn and uh, they'll make a nice meal so i'll get them uh, cooked off and frozen down anyway i'll uh, i think i'm just gonna go off the breakwater at hollyhead and see if there's any uh, heron knocking about and then other than that we'll see you in a bit right everyone so um, just got a baited rod out there and do some uh, feathering to see if there's any uh, herring about or any mackerel perhaps even. Um, we'll see. You never know. Right everyone, so first fish on the feathers <laughs> is my friend and yours, a little whitey. <laughs> right, let's get him back. Right everyone, so I decided to uh, bait up some feathers and uh, had a really nice size white in there. I'll get it measured up and I'll uh, I'll put oh I'll put it in just there and uh, yeah quite a keeper I'll keep it in a bucket just keep it uh, alive and then if I get any uh, get any bigger ones this guy will go back but yeah make a nice team well, I'll catch you in a bit right everyone so that's another little white in a little bit smaller this time now right, let's get him back and see if I can get any more. That's everyone, so that's a tiny little white in again. He's teeny, this guy. Let's get him back. I just thought I'd show you this one being a little bit bigger, but not a lot. What I'll do now, I'll count the rest up if they're about this size or smaller, because uh, unbaited feathers here, they're just uh, going crazy. So I'll, uh, I'll save the camera roll, as it were, and uh, I'll let you know if I get anything uh, more interesting or a bigger white in. All right, get you in a bit. So we have got something different, and ah, it's a dogfish. Look at the brown, brown coloration on him. Must be the kelp that he's in. 
but it's not blood, it's uh, it's like a brown coloration. I'll just give you show him off properly. It's quite small really, so I'll put this guy back. Have a proper look at him. There you go, sleep. <laughs> Leopard of the sea. Right everyone, so a decent sized dogfish. So we'll be keeping this guy. He's quite a decent one. More rock and chips. Right everyone, so you meet me and my friend Mark at uh, Seacombe Ferry Terminal. Uh, we've never, I've never fished this before, so new to the channel. Uh, rods are in the water, as you can see in the background there. It's a cold one today, so about three layers, but uh, let's see if we can see any action. We're uh, fishing later on as well, um, but on the opposite side of the river tonight, our Thossus Pool. So this is just a day session, um, see if we can uh, find any fish for you. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. Fish number two for Mark. Decent fish size wipe in. Right, let's see if we can get you some more. Right everyone, so Mark's still on the two whiting. Uh, again, lots of lo whiting rattles, but uh, my hooks are a little bit uh, a little bit too big really to be hooking them up i've put a smaller hook on one of the uh, flappers and hope i might break the blank at this stage it's a bit quiet anyway i'll get back to you if we get anything else right everyone just as i left you to say it's gone quiet me and mark exactly the same time had a bite <laughs> And we had a dab a piece. So, dab number one. They're both basically the same size. No peepers. You can probably see it's absolutely see through. <laughs> I'll get this one back. And then that's dab number two. Let me get a close up of it. Let's do that. Let's get him back. Oh yeah, nice to see a flounder. Also, another dab for Mark there. It's a varied session. Nothing else. I'm going to bite on that one now. Hi everyone, so I just had a, a little wipe in. A fairly decent size as you can see. I'll get it measured up and I'll put it in the bottom there. Mm, that's not getting any more. Decent fish. Giving him a 
good scrap. Well, Not everyone, so we do have a codling. Interesting markings on him as well, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Let's just quick look at these markings. Nice fish. Right, everyone. So just before, just before that codling, I had myself a, a little dab as well. Showing you off. Nice. Let's see what into his uh, right into his guts there. Anyway. Let's uh, let's get him back. Right, everyone. So a little white in for me, and Mark just had a white in as well. A um, little bit bigger than this one. Anyway, let's get it back. Right, everyone. So Mark just had a, a keeper size white in. He's not kept it, but um, he's chucked it back because he's got that cod. And I just had a little rock in there. I'll just give you a lovely shot of Liverpool over the way. And and the multi species session wouldn't be the same without a dogfish. <laughs> there we are everyone. Another little codling. I'll just uh, turn my light off and show you in the light. Mm, as you can see that, looking a tiny bit smaller than the other one. We'll measure him up and I'll put it in the middle. Right, everyone, so just a quick update for you. Uh, Mark's just had two more whiting and uh, I've not had anything else since, but I've had plenty of bites. Still time yet. Um, we're going to head over to um, Otter's Pool later on, so fingers crossed we might be able to see some more fish there as well. So, if we get anything else, I'll come back to you. Another little white in there. Right everyone, so it's been a while since I uh, have uh, come back here. <laughs> We've had tea in between, as you can probably see, it's quite cold. Uh, minus four, I think, tonight. Um, we're at uh, the Batani Inn, a regular spot that I like to come for uh, cod fishing. So, fingers crossed we can uh, find you some cod. Uh, we're going to fish it for a few hours now and up to around about high and then uh, then head off back hopefully with some fish to show you as ever i'll come back to you if we uh, get anything so i'll just show you all exactly how cold it is tonight with the frost on this road <laughs> yep yeah, it's pretty cold Right everyone, so no monsters to report, but uh, a little white in nonetheless. The cod are evading me at this stage, <laughs> but uh, look a tiny bit longer yet before we uh, give in to the cold. Right, let's see if we can get some more, catch you in a bit. Right everyone, so Mark's just had a double header of white in. <laughs> That's a decent dish size one. 
And then another one there. We're just about done, I think. I think it won last cast now, but you never know. Last cast fish and all that. <laughs> Right everyone, so last cast shenanigans has got me another little white in. <sighs> Dying a little thing this time. Not sure I'm a bit closer up. There we go. Now well, let's get him back. So that's going to be the end of the session guys. So I hope you like the video nonetheless. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. Hi everyone and welcome back. If you made it this far, thanks for watching the video. We do hope you liked it. As ever, I'll just go through with you now, on the maps, the different places we went in the video. So, we went here to Hollyhead. We stopped off for Worm here at Clan of Eken. And then we fished both sides of the Mersey, here on the Wirral and here at Otter's Pool. So, the two locations in Hollyhead that we fished were here, firstly, at Dock Back and here then on the first bend on the breakwater. I'll just zoom in on both of those locations and give you a bit more detail. So I've just zoomed in on the location known as Dock Back. Um, this is also known as Holly Head Fish Dock as well. There's a couple of places that you can fish on this section. Most people do fish on the end here, but there's also this section here, this section, and all along this back wall as well. We actually uh, fished this bit here and just cast our lines into these areas here uh, for the squid. So this is the closest that I can get you on Street View. But basically, you just come to this industrial area here. You'll see the lockups um, for the fish processing. Uh, you basically just drive along here and you take a left just down there and you'll end up on the end of the dock. Just the same as Hollyhead Breakwater, this uh, pier or uh, dock area doesn't have any railings, so be very careful in these areas and especially careful driving your car. This can be a very popular venue and you can probably only get about four or five cars on the end here, so it's up to you whether you wanted to stay there if there were people on there already, but what we tend to do is if it's that busy, we'll go somewhere. There is plenty of parking and they don't mind you parking here at non-peak times and the, you can park all the way along here. Just be careful and just be aware that people do need to pass you as well. It isn't the most detailed 3D image but as you can see it gives you a rough idea on the area. This here being the working ferry port of Hollyhead and this being the fish processing area. That's why it's known as the fish dock or dock back. Um, as you can see, there's two real sections that jut out, one here and one here for fishing. But as I said, you can fish all the way along here. But do bear in mind, there is a really big kelp bed just in that area. As I've said, this whole area here is still a working area for fish processing and landing fish, etc. There are plenty of boats that are moored up there. So um, obviously it goes without saying, just don't fish in the areas where the boats are. I'll just let the 360 run for you. So I've just stopped it there to give you a bit more location information. So this here, this bay here is Penfrost and here is the Inland Sea and that is also the Inland Sea there and you might just be able to see that yellow and that's the Stanley Bank. So I'll just stop it there as well. So here, as you can see on this side here, that is actually where Port Swatan is, or Church Bay. And we do a fishing video and there is a bit more information on that video as well about that area. I'll just stop it there as well. So as you can see, this thin line here that goes all the way around there, that is the Hollyhead Breakwater. I will put both postcodes and what three words into the description for you for both of these locations. So that's a dock back and Hollyhead Breakwater as well. So for the first dock, basically you're coming around on this roundabout here, following the first left turn 
and following it all the way around and to the dock there. And for the breakwater, you follow it from Newry Beach here all the way around down this road here and on to this gravel area here. This being the gravel area here, as you can see, there are two cars just there already on the photograph. But this whole section here, you can park on. So I've just zoomed in on the first bend on the breakwater for you. This is the area that I do tend to fish as it's easy to walk to and it's not too far away from the car. You might just be able to see the, there's a set of steps as well. So if you get any bigger fish, you can land them there. There's some really good fishing off the back of the breakwater as well. But be aware that that is very snake. So the Mersey locations were firstly here at Seacombe Ferry Terminal and then here at Britannia Inn on Otters Pool. I'll just zoom in on Seacombe for you and give you a bit more detail. So as you can see, this here is the ferry terminal and this being a tunnel vent. We just fished just in front of this tunnel vent, which was just here. And you can fish all the way along here that way and all the way along that way too. So the two places you can park in this area that aren't on the prom are firstly here, just next to the uh, tunnel vent itself, or down this road here, or even on this road here. So as you can see, this road here does have cars on it already, so obviously it is a residential area, and these are the uh, cars of the people that live there. So obviously just don't block someone's drive um, or park in somebody else's spot. So I've just moved the map there just to show you the exact spot that we fished. So we fished just here, just down from the steps from there, and we cast our lines into there. I'll not go into too much detail on this location as we have only fished it twice, uh, once with my dad and here with Mark as well. It doesn't seem to be too snaggy of an area, but obviously different locations along this stretch could have different snags. You might just be able to see here, there are some large concrete uh, steps just in front of the railings for fishing, um, but the water comes right up to those at high tide. There are a number of steps in this area, one being there, one being there, and another being there. Uh, do be aware that these are green and very slippy, so take your time if you're landing any fish on those. There is a concrete structure as well in front of the railings that goes all the way along, so be aware of that as well. So as you can see on the 3D view, this really does show it quite nicely. These are the steps that I was explaining, and there's another set there. This is the concrete structure that I was saying as well, and these were the steps that we went down, and we just fished here and here. As you can see, it's right next to the ferry terminal here. So this is a very narrow stretch of the Mersey, as you can see, the city of Liverpool is just across the way there. With the river being quite narrow in this spot, it has been reputed that that's why it is very good fishing in this area. So I've just pulled this image up here as well. So as you can see, this is the town hall and this is known as town hall steps. Um, it's great fishing in this area as well. I'm not going into too much detail on this little spot. Uh, we do have a few videos on the channel which I'll link in the description. So I'll just leave it in 3D view there so you can see the bend of the river out to sea. This was our next spot which was at Otters Pool or at the Britannia Inn. Well that's about it for this video and thanks for watching once again. We do hope you like the videos. If you like the videos then do like and subscribe to the channel if you want to. I was with my friend Mark on this occasion, but I'm normally with my dad, and the next video will be me and him. My better half hasn't been so well recently, so I've not been able to edit uh, that many videos for you. We have been out fishing recently, and we've had some uh, nice fish as well. So as soon as I can, I'll get those videos edited and up on the channel for you. If you like what you see, obviously like and subscribe to the channel if you want to. And so until next time.
We'll see you later. Mm-hmm.